That's your job, buddy. Been trying to meet you. Fifteen. Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad. It is a beautiful Tuesday morning, and we have a great show planned for you today. We're going to start off with the pledge and then roll into a few interviews. What else are we going to have, Izzy? That's right. We're also going to have Juliana live on the Magic Window and Tosh on DeGero. Awesome. So let's get it started. I'm Landon Miller. And I'm Isabel Hollingsworth. And CHS TV starts right now. Welcome back. Now we have a story on Matias, who has a passion for dirt bikes. When most people think of sports, they think of baseball or soccer, but not Matias. My my grandpa got my dad into it when he was when he was like around my age. So um, my dad just carried it on to me, and then um, and then I taken off from there. Motocross involves riding a motorcycle, a gas-powered bike, through tracks or through trails very fast. It, it's so different and it, it, it's just, um, it's so different. Not everybody has a chance to like experience it. So I, it's just like, it, it's such a cool thing to do. Not only does Matias ride for fun, he races as well. And his results speak for themselves. I range from like, from like first to like, like seventh probably. So I do pretty decent. And what was his favorite part of the ride? I guess we're close to Mexico. <laughs> so <laughs> that's, that's a place. Reporting for CHS TV, I'm Grady Kunoff. Thank you for that piece, Grady. On another note, today's CIF playoff schedule consists of varsity boys volleyball at St. Margaret's at 6 p.m. and varsity softball at Del Norte. Both of these games will be away. The Shine Project Foundation and Blue Glasses are looking for volunteers to volunteer at their field day for families with special needs. The field day is May 27th, and you can reach out to Vicki at blueglasses.com for more information. For our first break in the announcements, we have Robbie with Boys Volleyball. Robbie? Good morning, Carlos. I'm Robbie Rains. I'm here with some members from volleyball. We have Parker, Hayden, and Roman. So, Hayden, I heard you guys just had leagues. How was that? It was good. We ended up winning. This is like the first time we've won in like seven years, so a pretty big accomplishment. Right, congratulations. And Parker, when and where is your next game? Uh, our game's at St. Margaret's <laughs> tonight at 6, and make sure to come support. All right, good luck. And Parker, why is this game so important? This game's important because it's the first round of uh, state, and if we lose, we're out, and if we win, we play at Torrey uh, this Thursday, I think. That's awesome. And any shout-outs? Shout-out Mr. Ogden Period 2. Ogden Period 1, two. yes, I can. Ogden Period 2. Thank you, Carlos Bad, and I'll send it back to Landon. Thank you, Robbie, and Boys Volleyball. CHS Peer Tutoring is available in the library for students struggling in all academic subjects. If you are interested, visit the library from 7.25 a.m. to 8.25 a.m. on Mondays and Fridays and 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. on Tuesdays through Thursdays. Visit the counseling website for more information. 
The City of Carlsbad, in partnership with U School, are offering high school students who reside in Carlsbad the opportunity to partic participate in Carlsbad Student Leadership Academy this spring. Over 300 students have already participated in this interactive academy through the years. Go to carlsbadstudentleadershipacademy.com to register. The program is free and is a great addition to your resume and college apps. Now we're going to send it over to Jacob with Live with Varsity Softball. What's up, Jacob? Good morning, Crosswood. I'm here with Women's Softball to talk about their upcoming games. So, Emma, I heard you guys qualified for CIF. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, so this year we are in the open division. We're the number five seed, and we are playing the number four seed, Del Norte, today. Nice, nice. And Stella, how are you guys preparing for CIF? You know, just coming, uh, overcoming a lot of injuries this upcoming season. We've just been grinding out each and every practicing game. We're ready to show out this week. Awesome, and what are the dates for the games? Uh, we play at 3.30 today at Del Norte, and Thursday is de to be determined. And if people want to come out and support, how can they do so? Our home games are at 3.30, and you could watch on Game Ch Changer if they're away. Awesome, you heard it here first, you guys. Be sure to come out and support for women's softball. I'll send it back to the anchors. Thank you, Jacob. The 2023 free heart screening is for ages 12 to 25. The screenings include a cardiac risk assessment, cardiologist consultation, and if indicated, a limited echocardiogram. The screening takes less than an hour and is painless. Visit epsavealife.org slash register to register. The Carlsbad Ed Foundation is now accepting applicants from all interested Carlsbad students who will be in grades 9 through 12 next year. Apply at the link shown in the graphic. Now we have Nate live with Girls Lacrosse. Nate? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm sitting here live with Girls Lacrosse to talk about what's going on. So starting off, how's your season been going so far? It's been going pretty well. We are undefeated league champs, and now we're off to the semifinals. Awesome. And uh, how are you guys, how, like, I hear you guys have a big game coming up. So what are you guys doing to prepare for that? So we've just been working hard at practice and a lot of team bonding and making sure that we're getting ready for our game. And then what's this big game? Uh, the game is tomorrow at 7. At Del Norte. Awesome. And any shout outs? Uh, Gabby Roller and Elena Ortiz. Natty B. Kara KO5. All right, you're here to hear first Carl's bed. Make sure to come out and support. Thank you, Nate. Graduation lays and beads are now available for pre-order from www.lancerdancers.com. Lays will need to be picked up at the CHS football field ticket booth area between 10 to 12 a.m. the morning of graduation on June 9th. The Carlsbad City Library is offering free online homework help on their webpage under Eve Resources. Apply for a library card online to access this and many other databases. Now I'll have Tosh and DeZero to give us some info on Bike Anywhere Day. Let's send it over to Tosh. What's up Carlsbad, I'm here live at the island where you guys are going to be this Thursday for Bike Anywhere Day. Now the significance of Bike Anywhere Day, it's an event this Thursday, May 18th, where you can come down, bike with your friends and family and see everything that Carlsbad has to offer. You're going to go around all across the coast, around residential, and you're going to stop here at the island where you guys are going to come and get your food. It's a little bit of a pit stop actually, and here you're actually going to be getting a free t-shirt. A free t-shirt and a chance uh, to win a $250 gift card uh, to a bike store of your choosing. So come out Carlsbad, make sure to show up to the island. It's a great place as a pit stop. And funny enough, behind me is actually Jose's Taco. That's one of the main attractions of this pit stop. Let's take a walk inside. I'm already looking at this menu. It's pretty exciting actually. I see a carne asada burrito. That's probably my burrito of choice. But for you guys, you've got a whole selection of things. I'm looking at tostadas, uh, tortas, tacos, burritos, enchiladas. You seriously, you've got the whole enchilada in here. You can get any item on the menu of your choosing, but no matter what menu item you get, make sure that your bike is in its top condition. It's important, Carlsbad, that your brake pads are doing well and your bike is able to ride throughout the whole experience to make for a safer experience for everyone. Thank you, Tosh. Make sure to engage in Bike Anywhere Day. For our last segment, we have Juliana on the magic window with a more important and yet serious topic. Let's send it over to Juliana. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here on the Magic Window to talk about a pretty tragic shooting that happened in Farmington, New Mexico yesterday at around 11 a.m. So authorities were called to the scene when people heard um, gunshots and found an 18-year-old man opening fire on the houses and people and vehicles nearby. Three people were killed and nine people were injured, including two police officers, um, until they shot and killed the suspect on the scene. Um, nearby schools were set into lockdown until around 1 p.m. yesterday as a precaution, and since then authorities have just been trying to find any extra, in, any extra information that they can on the suspect and any motives um, they might have had. So our hearts go out to everyone who's affected, and we hope that um, anyone who was injured has a quick recovery. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll send it back to the anchors. Thank you, Juliana. Switching topics coming up tomorrow, we have a story on a softball player here at Carlsbad.
working a lot. Like, I just have to get out of my head and just work harder. Like, I need to be like, this person's better than me, but I have to be better than them. That looks like a great story. So make sure to tune in tomorrow to check it out. Yeah, quick shout out to Period 4, Mr. Ogden, Yes I Can. And yeah, tune in tomorrow to see that and many other segments on tomorrow's show.